Like and subscribe for more stories, like this one. In the quiet town of Cozy Corners, Monty, a meticulous moose with an unusual love for colorful mismatched socks, discovered his favorite pair had gone missing. Unlike most moose, Monty found joy in the little splashes of color that socks brought to his otherwise brown and gray world. Determined to find them, Monty embarked on an adventure that would take him beyond his familiar forest. His first clue led him to the bustling hedgehog market, a place where animals traded goods from all corners of the forest. At the market, Monty met a chatty chipmunk named Charlie, who claimed to have seen a pair of socks dancing by themselves by the whispering waterfalls. Intrigued and slightly bemused, Monty thanked Charlie and hurried towards the waterfalls, his hooves clicking with excitement. Near the waterfalls, Monty found not his socks, but a jolly group of frogs wearing tiny hats, who invited him to a tea party. The frogs hadn't seen any socks, but offered Monty a lily pad hat as a token of their new friendship. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows through the forest, Monty stumbled upon a curious sight, his socks indeed dancing by themselves, animated by a mischievous field mouse magician practicing enchantments. The socks, caught in the spell, had been enjoying a day of adventure too. The mouse, apologetic but still chuckling, reversed the spell, returning the socks to Monty. In return for the accidental trouble, the mouse offered to show Monty a secret, a hidden glen where the rarest flowers bloomed, a sight few in the forest had ever seen. Monty's quest for his mismatched socks turned into a day of unexpected friendships and discoveries. He returned home not just with his beloved socks, but with stories of a magical day in the forest, a lily pad hat, and a heart full of joy. From that day on, Monty wore his mismatched socks with even more pride, a reminder of his adventure and the magic that lay hidden in the corners of Cozy Corners. And sometimes, just for fun, he'd visit the mouse magician, who always had a new trick to share and a story to tell.